Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's movie time. What's playing, Dan? We're watching Police Academy. Yeah, this is another new one for me here. Is it? You're all gonna learn why that is one of these days, fam. But yes, I'm actually looking forward to this. I think you'll enjoy it. Let's go find out. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Why not? <laughs> you probably want some of that stuff in your uh, recruits. I would think so. I'm sure he works there. Yeah. Police Academy's getting themselves real fine recruits. Oh, Jesus. You gonna kill this guy or what? Oh, oh no. There's something <laughs> going on behind him. <laughs> oh, no. It was a surprise party. You guys. <laughs> you could have killed somebody. Jesus Christ. Let's go, mister. Find a spot, dickhead. There is no spots, asshole. Yeah. Okay, I want you to apologize to this man, then park his car. Hell no. Go to hell. Sorry. Get out of here. I'll park this car real good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Dump it in a lake somewhere. Well, shit! Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> he parked it. Yeah, that was pretty good, actually. <laughs> I thought there were no more spaces. Am I an idiot or what? I thought you did great, man. <laughs> Hi, fellas. Uh -oh. What the hell? Oh, there's oh, that no good. I'm just gonna run off with that. Was this something they did back in the day? Well, what I know, <laughs> I didn't do that. Oh, oh, no. What the hell did, was that all about? Just being hooligans. Then I'm coming for you. What are you in for? Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it, stop that! <laughs> Larvel Jones. Monsignor Larvel Jones. Monsignor Larvel Jones, okay. Okay. See you around, Monsignor. Dr. Monsignor. Shut up. Uh, he got out of his cuffs? <laughs> Damn. That dude's talented. I know. He can do it all. Want you to go to the police academy. The academy's taking all kinds to you quit and you're back in jail. And that's the deal. Can I bring a friend? Who? Monsignor Larvel Jones. He's my personal physician. <laughs> <laughs> you need some entertainment over there. Yeah, there you go. Police Academy is such a dangerous place. Honey. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, oh. No. You move this car an inch and you're finished, mister. You hear me? He's moving that car. Yeah, he is. Why a police? Because it's exciting. It's different. It'll give me a chance to meet interesting and unusual. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, there's some right there. Cadet Kyle Blanks reporting for duty, sir. Get away from me, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girls, remember, I love you. Quite the ladies' man, right? <laughs> she's still on the damn car. I don't know how she stayed on all that way. When I went through this academy, every cadet was the right weight, the right height, the right color, and they all had Johnson's Lassard. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Weed the undesirables out. They must be encouraged to quit on their own. Just make their training hell. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of spades around here. <laughs> Careful what you say. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> You're the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Marvel's gonna be a pain in their sides. <laughs> Your training time here will last fourteen weeks. You don't know that? After those twelve weeks, some of you will be police officers. Twelve. Here at the academy, uh -oh. you will learn. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, uh, he's mine, sir. He's a queer. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's where the commandant and his wife live. Do you know where we go to get our clothes? Yeah. Over there. <laughs> oh, no. Why are you doing this, man? He's trying to make him mad. Move it, dirtbag. I'm first. And I'm next. Yes. Ratface wants to go first. <laughs> Uh, that was her part. Yeah. 
Just a little off the side, please. You can do that? Sure. This ain't the army, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it seems I've got a squad full of scum buckets. I was kind of hoping that, that you two might help me to just get rid of a few of them. Making snitches out of them? Mm-hmm. I'm Douglas Mackler. I always wanted oh, no. to be a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's already my favorite. Right. Close out our first afternoon together with a nice little stroll around the campus. By a stroll, you meant a big run. Okay. Yes, a cross country run. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about this. <laughs> I can show a movie on your butt. That's so. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> you snore? <laughs> Pretending to play video games? <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Dude, it's something else, man. Cadet Mahoney, Cadet Mahoney, reporting immediately to the Commandant's office. <laughs> man, Marvel's got your back. Lieutenant Harris, report immediately to the firing range. Lieutenant Harris. <laughs> Just buys that? Okay. I guess so. Uh oh. <laughs> Lost all your momentum, come on. <laughs> there you go, that's how you deal with the problem. Yeah, that's the way to get over a wall. <laughs> that man's gonna pass. <laughs> you think? <laughs> you got any brown shoe polish? I've got Cordovan, who's it for? Ten Harris. Why, what do you want to give him that for? Good Wait, question. brown shoe polish. Are you gonna make a skid mark? What are you doing with that? Give me that! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> so far, nobody's quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Take Mr. Mahoney here and run him until he throws up. After he throws up, run him some more. Good god. You can't make him do that. Well, I guess you can. God, Morris! Chad, would you please just let me yell at him for a minute without interrupting? Really, guys? Brown noses. What Whoa. the hell? Is that the Spanish guy? I think so. Uh -huh, somebody's on to him. Well, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> I don't know. He finds girlfriends wherever he goes. Yeah. Oh. God. He brought his own. Where did you get this gun? My mom gave it to me. <laughs> wow. I need a volunteer. Barbara, get out here. I, I just ate. <laughs> I just ate. <laughs> Come at me with an imaginary knife. I don't want to. <laughs> no! Ouch! Ouch! Oh, no. See, it's not so bad. Who's next? That's me! I love you! <laughs> <laughs> He's barking back there. That got their attention. Good lord. He's getting all the girls. Now that's just not fair, man. Come on, share the wealth. <laughs> <laughs> he's just standing there looking. <laughs> oh yeah, now he's, he's gonna, gonna take it. over. <laughs> <laughs> you're the devil. And you're rotten to the core. You make me sick. Thank you, sir. I make everybody sick. <laughs> Read. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, how are you, sir? This is Lieutenant Harris. Hi, Captain Reed. Can I get out of here? No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did my part. Yeah. <laughs> it's not an electric race. <laughs> want you to hit me. Give me your best shot. I, I, I can't because when I. Do it! Give me your. <laughs> How was that? We're expecting that, were you? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> He's too you, extra. I must say, you better never stop. We'll get together for a party. You go with them. Hi, Leslie. Where's the party going to be this weekend? I don't know anything about a party. Why don't you take his books and throw them out the window? That's just rude. <laughs> Useless! <laughs> uh, these guys are morons. Is there a party this weekend? Of course there is. Do you want to come? I just need to know where it is. Uh, some people want to know. Okay. Blue Oyster Bar. It's on Howell. I wonder if Mahoney's on to that. I bet he is. 
no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think he's on to him, yeah. Hey. You ain't oh. going nowhere. Oh. oh, no. Well done, Mahoney. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Puts crazy away for a while. Mm hmm. I got bored with my chosen profession. I was a florist. I believe it. <laughs> Interesting choice. Oh, my. <laughs> Put the best looking things they've seen in a while. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's actually kind of impressive. Get the lady of drink. Yeah. Why do you want to be a cop? I like to dress like a man. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> they have so much in common. <laughs> yes. I too like to dress like a man. Yes. That looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does. He's passed he's, out. He's fell asleep on his feet. I can't believe he just stayed there dancing the night away. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> 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 Nothing really happened, sir. <laughs> there was a party, wasn't there? Yes, sir. Well, what went on? Mostly dancing. Yes. All night long. <laughs> <laughs> These two guys are ruined. <laughs> Good shot. Oh, man. That, that shot's going to hurt. Yeah. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Awareness, Barbara. Come on. Where the hell are you going? Oh my god, he's shooting him from behind. <laughs> Dude, you're not Rambo. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's like that. She wants a piece of the action. Oh, sir. <laughs> he's, he's been destroyed. She made a man out of you. You are the arresting officer. What do you say, hooks? No, this is a stick-up. <laughs> what? <laughs> stick-up? <laughs> Just say police. Tackleberry, you try it. Same situation. I'm coming out of the house and... Knock that stereo before I blow your goddamn nuts off, asshole! <laughs> That'll work. Tackleberry, we really need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> He's a therapist. Can you keep a secret? Oh, yeah. I'm not really George Martin. I'm just plain old George Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I just use the accent to get the girls. Does it work? Yeah. <laughs> so he likes being dominated is what yeah. we learned. Oh, you're going to pay for sending us to the wrong party. Yeah. I'll tell him. We're going to get your fat ass thrown out of here. That's a promise. It's good, Hightower. <laughs> yeah, you need to make this man a cop. Rolled the joint. Yeah. Mahoney, major problem. Well, my goodness. She's smoking she's, a joint in there. She's ready for reaction. Squeeze in here. In here? Yeah. The real customer will be here any second now, okay? Oh, okay. Gentlemen. Oh, no. <laughs> very, very fine. <laughs> oh, no. First of all, I'd like to say how sorry I am that. Slade! <laughs> <laughs> shows our main building another view <laughs> oh did somebody finish <laughs> i guess he did <laughs> oh. let's have lunch shall we maybe smoke a cigarette yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> you gotta be curious who it was right? yeah. oh, oh no. <laughs> 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 don't think that's what he was looking for. <laughs> oh, God. What do you intend to do about Mahoney? What's he done? He did a very, very bad thing. To whom, sir? Well, I don't know. <laughs> yes, that's what I thought. He must feel so violated. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good job. She's over. <laughs> She's starting to like these guys. Mm -hmm. Part of your training will be to ride an actual squad car. All right. 
Ride-alongs. Say, Mahoney, why don't you ride with me? Oh no, this is gonna be a mistake for you. Get out of this car, Mahoney. You get out there and you follow me. You stay right behind me, punk. What? <laughs> He's just torturing this guy now. I was say, you can't do this to him, man. That's cruel and unusual. Officer, can you get my kitty cat out of the tree? Yep. No problem, ma'am. Oh, <gasps> with a gun? Please. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just shot that cat. Hey, you, give me that bite. This is official police business. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh my, that's too much for anybody. Someone call a veterinarian! <laughs> that poor horse. You told no one. Not a soul. Uh huh. I'm sure he told everybody. Yeah. Oh no. Good job, Marvin. Yes. Driving courses tomorrow. I haven't driven a car since I was 12. Oh, well. If I don't pass this driving course, they're gonna kick me out of here. Copeland should do. Jesus. Is that how you sleep? Look at his car! Hey, well, why do you have a Confederate flag on your car? Second thought, let's just rip the front seats out, sit in the back. <laughs> <laughs> that might work better. Good lord. Is that better for him? Should be. God, he's a tall guy. Yeah, you're doing beautifully! Oh, he's got it now. <laughs> oh, no. oh, can you evade him? Come on, let's see. Well, you're being much better driver than them. <laughs> this is high tower. I think he's got the hang of it. Yep, he's ready for a high speed pursuit. Boy, Mahoney's helping them all, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Let me see you do it. Seeing Santa Claus uh -huh. is coming to town. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. She ran over my feet, you dumb fat jigaboo! Whoa. Whoa. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, shit is right. Don't worry about it. Hightower's got you. Now, don't do that, Hightower. Holy crap. Oh. Oh. Get him, Hightower. <laughs> That's for you, pal. Good Lord, that man is strong. You get out of here right now. Mm. Stand tall, high tower. You did the right thing. He did the right thing, yeah. See, he was disciplining your men. You wrecked my car. I'm gonna rub this right in your face, you mark. Get set. <laughs> <laughs> now he's gonna get thrown out. All of them, from the looks of it. Who threw the first punch? I threw the first punch. Oh, Mahoney, you're out of your mind. You are out of the academy. Whatever. Unbelievable. It's one thing to want to get kicked out, but not like that. Yeah. Yeah. Kicked out for being a good, good squad mate. Yeah. For standing by your dude. Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah. So for these guys. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> they were eating an apple. <laughs> Had a bag full of them. The cops literally just left the scene, too. Right. What's happening now? The whole place is falling apart. Oh, no. <laughs> City's a powder keg. You, yeah, you can't, oh, afford, no. you can't afford to lose cops right now. You need every, every man available. All it took was an apple and the whole place falls apart. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> a riot's broken out downtown. How come? Who knows how these things get started? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All cadets report immediately to the dormitory parking lot in full riot gear. That bad. This is not they need everybody, every hand available. Does that mean Mahoney's back in the academy? I don't think so. It's time this cop met the public. That's one cop that doesn't need to meet the public. Right. We are being sent to a peripheral safe area. You will have live ammunition. Oh, no. <laughs> don't give him live ammunition. Your bus is to deploy on 16th Street between 4th and 8th. Are you sure, sir? Of course I'm sure. I never forget a number. <laughs> yeah, right. Here we go. Mahoney indeed is there. 
Boy, it sure is quiet around here, huh? <laughs> well, it was. I can only different colored suits. How are you doing here? We're from the academy. Right, right back down the street. We're pulling out. Uh oh. He sent all these guys into the right. Are you carrying her stolen TV for her? Probably. Oh, oh no. Oh, God, that's the whole right. Oh, shit. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Yes, yes run. bro. How did this get so bad? I don't know. That's weird, right? Yeah. Okay, we're getting some. I guess so. I want you to give me a fix on the entire situation. Not that good, sir. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Let's go. Drive. You just sat there and let it happen. Yeah, drive. There you go. <laughs> well done. The skills come in handy. Yeah, you're gonna make a fine cop with skills like that. Right. Back to his old job. Oh, that's too bad. He can get out there and put a right gear on, man. This is the man you need right now. You should park cars for a living, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're gonna kill you if they get out. Yeah. And they got no reason not to. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys are in trouble. <laughs> we'll be taking those. And now they have guns. You guys are terrible cops. Try this. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right back in. Oh no. They got you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, the he is. I got questions about that guy. I got questions about a lot of these guys. Uh oh. Oh, it's these guys. Hold it right there, guys. Boy, if it isn't Leslie Barbara the police officer. Shoot him. Yeah. Time to use that authority. Come on. You are quite threatened right now. You can do this. There you go. There you go. Get him. Get him, Barber. Yeah. There you go. Get the furniture back up there. But it's our furniture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were just moving. Sorry. <laughs> Still felt good, though. Where the hell is Harris? I, I, I don't know. Oh. Run! Be careful, Kim Cattrall. Back. They got a hostage. That looks like Harris up there. Should we shoot back? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's pinned down. <laughs> He's barely missing you. He shouldn't have any rounds left in that gun. He's by himself. You can get the drop on him. Oh, be careful. Don't move, you bastard. Run, Thompson! Yeah, that's right. You are clear to get out the way. Any last minute tips or suggestions? Nothing really comes to mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, come on, you never liked the guy. Uh, do little piglet I mean, Hey! What do you want? I want to watch you off these pigs. I don't think so. No. Good diversion, though. Which one we do first? One on the right. Yeah. <laughs> I believe I'd shoot this one. Yeah, you old... There you go. go. Looks like cadet revolvers to me. I know those guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. It's got their names on it. Yeah. There. there you oh, go. Look who got her voice. Good for her. What's wrong with this man? Uh, there was gunplay, sir, and he missed it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be the last time it happens, man. No, I'm sure not. <laughs> Just this woman bothering you? Uh oh. What? Uh, no, no. This is my mother. Peace. Quit trying to start stuff, Tackleberry. You'll meet my mother. Right. You better have some flowers. Flowers? Check. <laughs> I don't think so. Boy, well, she's whipped him. You men, stop that. That's more like it. <laughs> Good to see you've forgiven him for something he didn't even do. Right. 
No Academy cadet has ever received the highest award this police department has to make. Today, there are two. Moses Hightower and Kerry Mahoney. Good for you. You're back in. They earned it. They'll lower your head so you can get it around you. Right. He saved your life. Yeah, he did. We both expected to make a few short remarks. Thanks. <laughs> There was four. There you go. Oh no. Oh, she was just down there? <laughs> Lassard got your back. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Did Lassard end up finding out who was under that podium in the first place? He had to have. Okay. Because it's like he, she, there she was again. The same one, <laughs> yes. yes. Or else she's just the one that the whole police academy uses. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the actor that does all the uh, voice stuff? Uh, Winslow. That's his actual name, is Winslow. Just straight up Winslow? His last name was Winslow. I'm trying to think of his first name. All right, we'll do this the hard way. <laughs> Yeah, Michael Winslow. Because I remember he was also in, uh, if I remember, uh, Spaceballs. He was in Spaceballs as one of the people on the bridge. As, yeah, as one of the balls there. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was doing all of his own uh, impressions then. Mm -hmm. Has he done other movies? I got to think he has, but I can't think what else he's been in off the top of my head. I know he's well known for this role. Right. Because he appears in some of the sequels, too. He was fantastic. Though. Yeah, he, I say the, the voice work there was spot on. You could tell exactly what games he was referencing. You could tell what sounds he was trying to make. He could make it, even make it come from a distance. Like, he was great. The other person that I was kind of onto a little bit here was our Spanish guy. Mm -hmm. I had to have thought that something was fake about him. And sure enough, he's not even Spanish. He's not even Spanish yet. He just has a darker complexion, that's all. Right. He's a little more bronze than the average bear. Okay. Is that he just goes around putting on the accent to get laid? Yeah, he, he said it pretty much works. I mean... <laughs> It was. All the ladies were on him. I feel like they should have known better, but whatever. I was going to say, even then, you'd think they wouldn't be so... Uh, Gullible? Yeah, it's just fall for an accent. I certainly would have hoped not, but <laughs> by God, they did. But God, he's getting every lady there. Well, I wonder what happened to the uh, to the two guys... <laughs> Who went to the Blue Oyster? <laughs> the Blue Oyster. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. Well, they probably got kicked out of the forest because they lost the guns. Mm-hmm. Because they weren't there. Yeah. At the graduating ceremony. Maybe they just got Giles working at the bar. I don't know. Or they were never allowed to leave the bar again. I don't know. Oh, no. That could be bad for them. Those guys were doing all of the biddings for Harris. Mm hmm Shouldn't Harris have been, like, disciplined in such a way, too? Like, lost his position? You would think, but I guess it would depend on if they even asked about it, because they already knew Harris was a tough instructor. He admitted it, like, right away. I imagine... You know, it's one of those things where they, they just found out what happened with the guns, and they're just like, well, we can't trust these guys. They, they lose their weapons and run off in the middle of, an, of action. Yeah. So they, they were more worried about getting rid of them just on top of that. They didn't bother investigating anything else that was going on. Well, that's stupid. And the other thing, too, is Harris was acting under orders from, who was the chief of police? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, you know, he had a, an incentive to protect himself, too, by not incriminating Harris. Oh, my God. Well, then there's problems all over this <laughs> graduating <laughs> ceremony. Oh, there's all kinds of problems. Half of these people, really, I don't know how they made it as far as they did. I mean, I'm, I'm glad they did. But the, <laughs> the mayor just sits there and waves all of the uh, job job requirements. Right. And just opens it up to anybody willing to apply. Because realistically, if I saw some of these people too, I'd be like, yeah, get them out of this academy. <laughs> but it worked out, you know. They went out there and they were good law enforcers. As it turns out. Yeah. Well, I don't know about Barbara, man. He, he really misjudged that situation. <laughs> but those guys were coming on a little aggressive yeah so. they were they were threatening him he had he had a reason to act how he did and for that matter we saw what they did to him or in the beginning of the movie right so it, they kind of had it coming right so really i'm not that that mad at him mm -hmm. i'd say at the very least she got some payback that's one of those things where like you know be more conscious of the situation don't go picking a fight with people in the future yeah but i'm glad to know that he can stand up for himself yeah i say he took him down easily yeah that training really showed off right there. Yeah, I mean, at the beginning, you wouldn't have pegged any of these guys for cops, but they could do the job now. Oh, maybe Hightower. Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> There's one cop you wouldn't mess with and no. saw him on the streets. <laughs> that guy will crack your head. Yeah, he will. He couldn't even do, like, climb a rope, man, because right. he pulled it off the damn ceiling. <laughs> guy's too strong. That's crazy. <laughs> this movie was fun. I liked it. It was. Probably, it wasn't a joke a minute like some of the other ones that we've watched, but some of the stuff they set up in there turned out really, really good. I thought so. 
I still enjoyed it. It didn't have to be a joke a minute. In mm-hmm. fact, I prefer it's not. But sometimes you just got to slow down right. a little bit and let things build up. And that's what they did. They let situations build up this time. They put a little more emphasis into the story here. You know, we yeah. learned a lot about the characters. We saw them develop as a squad. There's no need for just like constant jokes. Yeah. And I'll tell you one thing. That police academy, not only was it a nice police academy, mm-hmm. it was almost like West Point for police officers. It's a pretty it's nice building. Point. Yeah. They had all that countryside it was outside. It a whole campus. So yeah. yeah. It was interesting. I wonder if they're all like that. I don't know. I don't know either. I have to imagine they're probably not, especially if you're in like a bigger city. You're probably just downtown somewhere in the middle of everything. I would imagine there's a big training facility for it all, personally. Maybe. There's probably not as many, but I would imagine there's a big training facility, a place where they can practice scenarios that they've run into Mm -hmm. and had to do stuff like that. So I got to think that there's something like that. But they need blinds in this place because you can see everything. You got a problem with that? (laughs) Some people might have a problem with it. I suppose if you're the one they can see, yeah. (laughs) If I'm the one looking through the window, no. If I'm the one being looked at, yes. There you go. That's what I I wanted to hear. But I think we're going to leave it there for now, guys. Uh, As always, if you're brand new, I hope you'll consider subscribing and helping us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications for all future videos. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later.